Are y'all doing Secret Santa? No, I may initiate it again this year. Secret Santa stresses me out as well. Really? Because last year I participated, and for some reason, you know, I get lost in a lot of stuff. Like, so a you're not of, a good a whole person. lot of eat. No, I'm a great person. Let me tell you why. Mm. So, I went into the whole thing with the understanding that every day mm-hmm. was supposed to be a ten dollar gift. Oh, so I spent fifty dollars on. Secret Santa gifts. So whoever my receiving Did you person, not read the fine print or what? Yeah, I messed up. The The $10 gift was supposed to be on Friday. The last one. And then if you want to do little trinkets throughout the week, something like that. Well, that's why I don't like doing Secret Santas because mm. either I do too much, mm-hmm. which is okay because I make somebody's day, but it's just like I'm... I'm stressing too much. Yeah. Because I'm working so hard to ensure that they love it. And then are you getting it back? Well, you don't do it to get it back, but But you know good and well. If you get if you get a jar of popcorn and you are you, And I've given a fight apparel design oh shirt God. and mug. The most. <laughs> do the most. I like the ones where it's just like one gift at the end. Or I do like the little clues, but I don't. I, a lot of times it's hard to keep up with that. Yeah, I and can't. sneaking in the room Ugh, before they stressful. get there. Girl, I had to get students to deliver, and I'm like, don't tell nobody who gave you this. But it's so cute. It's kind of sweet. We're doing something, an alternative. Well, actually, okay, girl, our school got a lot going on. They're doing the ornament exchange, mm. Secret Santa, and then we started. You've been elfed today. Mm. You know what that is with the stocking. No, we just did booed. We did booed, but it's a... <laughs> we did that, too. We did put that. it on your door or whatever. Yeah. yeah. We're doing something similar. It's just you've been elfed, and we are hanging little random stockings. Mm-hmm. It's six floating around our big old building, so oh. hopefully everybody will get an opportunity to get That's cute. elfed. Oh, gosh. Mm. We're doing elf grams, too, at school, where me and the... <laughs> Me and the principal and the administrative assistants are dressing up like elves. And we're going to go from classroom. It's a fundraiser. We're oh. going to go from classroom to classroom singing. Oh, or really you love that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I made them do it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that was a very long and extensive friend fix talking about shopping and and whatnot. Um, oh, are we moving to elephant? Yeah, I get it. We got, we have an elephant in the room. And, um, okay. So, we have the elephant in the room and it is... A doozy. Yeah. The world stage is watching and it is not about Prince Harry and the girl. (laughs) (laughs) And the actress. It's not about that, which is... Great and fun and distracting, but the slave trade that's going on in Libya. Um, CNN broke. Mm, can I say broke? I don't know. CNN did a story that, yeah. um, you know, just unveiling some things that were going on. Let me prefix this with saying that this is not anything that is new. Hmm. So the world is just finding out, maybe. Mm-hmm. And people are becoming more aware, which is awesome. And it's so good that people are seeing and knowing that this is an issue that's going on, has been going on. So um, the in this CNN breaking news, there was pictures of um, real people being sold as slaves, auctioning off their best ability like this man is very strong he's a digger yeah he's a digger anyone need one there's exchange of money and then there is exchange of person and then there it is so you know here we have this you know slavery is as old as people Mm -hmm. uh still going on and you know people are appalled how can this still be happening in this world i don't understand it first of all there's a sex, a sex slave trade that's going on. That right. is black market, so no one really sees it. No one can see it with their their eyes. There right. are cameras that show it. Right. 
This one is something that's a little more obvious, so more I visible. can see where it's shocking. Mm-hmm. Um, so, how did it come to this? <laughs> so, Libya has had a very trying relationship with the UN. Um, you know, after Muammar Gaddafi was overthrown, he was uh, this this like dictator a long time ago. If you guys follow, like in the nineties, U.S. and a couple other countries were spearheaded in like taking down the government in Libya. After that, we went in there and tried to make it a democratic society. It didn't work. So basically, this country has been having major, major issues. If you look at Hillary Clinton, she's been trying to have her relations with um, Libya for years when she was Secretary of State. Like, So it's been an issue. Libya has always been an issue. Maybe people just hadn't paid attention to things that people have been talking about. Mm -hmm. But the thing is with Libya is that people are trying, Africans are trying to pass through Libya to get to Europe. Mm -hmm. And they have to get through there in order to by foot if they need to get to Europe. So basically you have these migrant people who are passing through Libya, which is dangerous territory. And there are no, no one's enforcing anything there because the government is all jacked up. Right. Because we overthrew the dictator. Mm-hmm. And so you have three different factions that are fighting for whatever government that's going on there. But you have a lot of these renegade people who are um, exploiting the migrants who are trying to get to Europe. For a better life. For a better life that's been sold to them somehow through maybe social media or just TV. That if they get to Europe, that's going to be a better life. Mm-hmm. Who knows if that's going to be the case because they're coming from like... You know, West Africa, just different places. We don't know what their life was like before, but it's just an idea that if they get there, it's going to be better. It's going to be better, right. And so basically they're getting caught up in Libya and and turned into slaves, um, killed. Because there's no real rules in Libya. There's no rules. They mm-hmm. just are doing whatever. And no one is really there. Actually, the Libyan government said that their, their hands are tied in this because the, the country is as big as France, I think is what the article said. It's a very big country, but there's no, like there's plenty of places to hide. You can hide in blind sight. No one's really checking for you. So if you have slaves and you're selling them, who's going to be there? To, where are the police? Nowhere. Girl, I don't know if I read this right, but it feels like what I just read. Um, I guess we'll post this article on our page. You mm-hmm. see, I'm it's so... the Washington post, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, is saying that the smugglers are the ones that are putting on, they're basically baiting them mm-hmm. to come through Libya. Showing Facebook, like, you should come through right. here. I'll take you to Europe. It's an awesome place. Right. So they're doing that to trap them. Mm-hmm. So that's that's where the lie came from. Or, you know, how you were just saying. The idea, the idea. that. Mm-hmm. And I mean, historically, yes. They probably have been traditionally sold that Europe was better. Anyways, through right. colonialization. Like he capitalized on that cap- idea that was already there. Right. And the, also the thing is, like, with all of these, like, terrorist attacks on Europe, their borders are definitely closed. And so they're trolling those waters and they're turning those boats back around. And so basically you have this whole population of people who are trying to get to Europe stuck in Libya. Oh, goodness. So enter, what are we going to do with these people who are migrants? They're not natives, so we don't have, like, we can't say, we'll take care of you. They don't have any ties to these people, so they're they're selling them for whatever the labor that they have. Um, Same with Sudan. You know, Sudan is is not, it's not a good place as far as, like, the government. Um, Syria, anarchy. So (laughs) there's a lot of places like this. Where I'm sure this is going on. This is not something that is only Libya, but I'm excited that the world is um, paying attention. And so what are the next steps is my question. So, I mean, like, how do you feel about it? This is, that was just the information about, you know, what is going on. Because I think a lot of people are like, I can't believe there are slaves going on in this world. I saw a lot of posts like that, but are they really like, knowing the details behind it and why it's happening and what would be the solution. Right. I think that, as you said earlier, when I first heard this story, I was just, I was a little confused. Of course, I read, um, read some more to figure out what exactly was going on. Mm -hmm. Um, And 
my mind did immediately go to sex trafficking um, that's happening, you know. Yeah. Um, India. Mm-hmm. Definitely India. Any and states? U.S. Yeah, I was going to say, mm-hmm. you know, Hartsfield is one of the biggest hubs mm-hmm. for transporting those babies. Um, so my heart went straight there. So I know that whether it's in the light or not, that type of slavery is occurring as well. Mm -hmm. It was shocking to me that it was, um, so I don't know. It felt very publicly known. Yeah. Yeah. It was an auctioning on slave blocks. Uh Uh-huh. That's, I think that image that I saw of that mm-hmm. is what kind of I got taken aback, of course. Mm-hmm. And it's it was just a little unreal to me that it would be that overt. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes me sad, and I don't know. I have I don't know what the next step should be. I don't know. I feel like I think somebody started a hashtag with like some someone else said these hashtags aren't mm-hmm. action for here for Libya. Pray for Libya, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. all of that. But it's honestly, it, in the if they read, it's not really Libya that is needs. Yes, Libya needs the praying, but it is more so these migrant people that are caught in Libya. In Libya. Yeah. Um, and I think the president of France has been like, I think the article did talk about like him taking tours in West Africa. Um, just to kind of really get an assessment of what's going on mm-hmm. and just try really a lot of French, a lot of the French, they were protesting all through Thanksgiving. I know and taking a, a real strong stance about this and that's going on. But France has been hit really hard lately with, um, the immigration from Syria and the bombings and a lot mm-hmm. of those things. And so I don't know, I don't know if the answer is that, you know, the French open their doors to to migrants coming from Libya. Like, I don't know what, what's going to happen with these people. Jeez, Liz. Um, and first of all, probably the solution to me would be to dispel the idea that um, going to Europe would be a better place. Like, right. Uh, addressing that issue. Why is it not safe or why is it not okay? Or why is the idea of having a strong African country even like a problem. I I feel like that would be something. And then also, um, there was an undertone of, of racial, uh, issues as far as the immigration and who they're letting into Europe. Hmm. Because it, it is clear that if they have a certain skin color, then they would turn that boat around. But if they were coming and they didn't have that skin color, would they really be as strict with their, um, immigration? I don't know. So, right. so I heard you say that you think that there needs to be some type of education of the people who are fleeing. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully, I think that is a great place to start because, mm-hmm. as I said, I honestly don't know where those people are going to go right. that are trapped there right now. 400,000 to 1 million migrant Mm-hmm. migrants going over there. I just don't know what they, I don't know what they can do with those. And Not sell them, but you know. Right. Could they make it back home? I don't know. They're, they're right. not, I feel like now they're caught up in a matrix of a country that doesn't even have a system that could return them home. Like no. it's just a, a point of no return and then what Because if do? they go back, I mean, they're saying, the travel, the journey <laughs> there, there was not easy. Right. So they've made it that far only to be, and I guess that's why they feel like these are the strong ones or or, or they're even able to make those distinctions about who's there. Right. And I kind of want, I'm interested to know who is buying. Who, who are the yes. buyers? Is it Libyans who are buying? Is it European? That like, is I don't such know. a good question. Is it ISIS? Like, who is buying these slaves? Yeah. And then what are they doing from with that? And are we... Like, where are they going? Right. So should the world be cracking down on purchasing of slaves? Because of the supply and demand. Like, if there is no supply or if there is no demand, then there will be no supply. Exactly. You know, humans are 
Oh my God, this is, this is so disgusting. I, I remember hearing this. It's like uh, humans.